Confession. I'm a fangirl. Now, I don't do anything half-ass. So fangirling just in my nature. When I am a fan of something, I look up all their YouTubes, I look up their Twitters, their Wikipedias, their Tumblrs, for people, books, movies, shows. Now, I like people. I like to learn new things. So majority of the time when I'm fangirling, I'm more or less just learning about their thing. And I'm passionate about a lot of things. I'm passionate about the people I watch on YouTube. I'm passionate about the books I read. I'm passionate about my beliefs. Because fangirling has been looked down upon. They say fangirl. And then people are like, oh, fangirl, fangirl, fangirl. Is always a bad thing? Really liking something and researching it and finding out more about it and if it helps you through a hard time or it helps you get to a better place, why would that be such a bad thing? Now I know there's those crazy ones that go way out of control and way above what you need to be. It doesn't always mean bad. I watch YouTubers, multiple, and then I go and I look back at their past ones. I like to see how they progressed. And then people are like, oh, you're such a fangirl. Why? Because I looked in their past to see how they progressed to help me maybe with my videos and help me think. YouTube is market research. Plain and simple. Right? Right? I don't know. But I just really like to get to know people. And that's the easiest way is, I guess, to fangirl. But I'm not always fangirling. Most of the time I'm just trying to relate with the, it on some level. Like watching TV shows. When you sit there and binge watch a TV show, it's because it's really good and you're really excited. Then you gotta go in and you gotta see what the fandoms are saying. Because you want people to relate with you. So then you spend hours and days on Tumblr. Or, that's not just me, is it? Didn't think so. Then you make friends. And you start talking to people who have the same likes and dislikes as you. And you start talking about these people with that like that show or that like that YouTuber or like that book or that fantasy world, that fandom. I am probably a part of like almost every fandom that is out there. Think I'm lying? I'm not. I like everything. I like all types of music. I like all types of books. I like all types of YouTube. I like all types of artistic abilities, you know, expression. I like it all. So why not be a fangirl? I mean, I'm like, you know, people say, oh, that, that girl's a fangirl. But it doesn't have to be a negative thing. Hanging out and talking about, I mean, that's how we get our, our, our likes and dislikes. Having passion for something and being excited and talking about it and, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I mean, who doesn't want to meet that person that helped you through a hard time? Sometimes we can control ourselves a little bit. But sometimes emotions just take over and you can't always control when that having passion is so important. If you don't have passion in your life and you don't get excited about things, what's I just don't see that there's any point to live. I mean, I have so many interests and so many things that I'm excited to do and so many things I'm excited to think and people I'm excited to meet. So but why so being excited and expressing that shouldn't always be a bad thing. So if people say you're a fangirl and you look at it as a negative thing, it doesn't necessarily mean it's negative because you have passion and you're excited to meet somebody or you're excited to do something or you're excited to read something or you're excited about a book that's coming out or a movie or a show that's gonna be out. It's not a bad thing. But you need to control it. You don't want to like, if it's a person, let's say. You can't go and stalk the people. You don't, you got to give them their personal space. And then sometimes it's good to think before you talk. Let me tell you, I've said some pretty stupid things to some famous people that I've met. And I look back and I'm like, oh my goodness. I cannot believe I just said that to that person. Now that's how they're going to remember me the from the rest of my life. Uh, they probably won't remember me. But... You live and you learn. The older you get, the more you do it, the more you get out there and you meet new people and you get more new experiences, the more you can change and you can probably control that a little bit better. But I am a fangirl. I don't say it a negative thing. I think it's fun. I think it's cool. I like to meet other people who are passionate and excited about the same things that I am. And I like to squeal and go, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, with other people regardless of their age or gender or anything. I love meeting new people. I love seeing people with passion in their eyes. I love people showing love to other people because that's what fangirling is. It's loving on people and loving on people is important. So if you're a fangirl, be a fangirl. Maybe we can fangirl together or fanboy because that works too. Fangirl is just the term that we use.
maybe sometime we can all hang out and fangirl about everything. Because like I said, that's it. If you like my videos, please subscribe, like, thumbs up, it'd be awesome. Share this and get this out to the world. Let's see, let's uh, fangirls and fanboys unite, right? Right. See you later, guys.